Scorpio, hi, welcome to my channel, Adrian Nelson here from AsianGreatLife.com and this is your Valentine's reading, so it's all about love. So let's see what we got. Please remember, this is a general reading, so please take it as it resonates. Um, it is not gender specific. If you are interested in a LGBT focused reading, I upload one of those every week as well. So just have a look out on my channel. So starting off with an oracle card that came out right away, um, before we go to your tarot, and it says a burst of magic. Oh, what a beautiful message to get. You know, for, for something that is around Valentine's, you know. For some of you, Scorpio, you may have had a lot of heaviness that you needed to deal with. Um, I even got it in your reading last week, which focused on love. A lot of you may have had a lot of, almost like heavy sort of baggage that you had to carry, you know. Um, and, and, and some of you may have, I would say almost like it, it seems almost like given up on love or given up on the idea that maybe you know if you're with someone that the situation can be um, can be sort of saved you could have felt very precarious or it could also be that for some of you you just felt like you know nothing is ever going to happen for you this is obviously a general reading so please take it as it resonates let's get into your tarot let's see what it is but I see very good news there for you so I'm very excited um, to see what it is that your tarot is actually going to deliver for you, Scorpio. Let's see what do we have for Scorpio, please. So we're just going to do a simple three card spread and then clarify the three card spread. Ha! Huh. Yeah. Some of you were incredibly overwhelmed and maybe even had a lot of difficulty dealing with life because in the recent past, the energy that led you towards where you are there's a whole juggling that went about here, um, here with the Two of Pentacles, time, money, where you yourself may have felt very thinly sort of stretched, you know, almost like you're not sure, um, not just sure, not sure how you're going to cope with life, but even if you are able, you know, to cope with life, I see that a lot of you had that sort of thing, a lot of it's almost like there was a lot of pain inside of you, um, Scorpio, like you lost your belief in love, that maybe, you know, um, someone has done something to you, which was so terrible, that could have actually even sort of like, you know, just make you not want to be or have anything to do with love. And it says, working too hard to multiple jobs, the need to bring balance and fun into your life and juggling multiple priorities and balancing the budget. So for some of you, it's not so much that you didn't want love. You kind of didn't really have time for it because you had all these other things that were going on in your life. In your current space, we've got the Queen of Wands, which is all that sort of fire energy. Um, and it says brilliant, talented, independent, controlling. There is nothing that you can't do, Scorpio. Um, believe in yourself. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true and the need for balance be between career and a personal life. So if you have been in that space where you have been saying that, you know, you don't really want love because you don't have time for it. You need to do sort of like the earthly things at the moment. You need to take care of the money and, you know, all the things that money can buy. Then you might, it, it will be very well advised to start moving your mindset from that idea of I don't have time for love to, well, maybe I should make some time for love. Okay, because I feel that for some of you are in the space that you'd like to have love, you'd really love to have it, but it's almost like there isn't space for it in your life, all right? Um, you can always call upon the angels to also assist you um, to sort of like, um, you know, stretch your time or maintain your time better, because remember, time is a very fluid sort of thing. So you can ask the angels to help you to, to get more time in your life for love, for maybe like some nice whatever walks on the beach and all those beautiful things that everybody likes to do. Um, and then you also have the Queen of Pentacles over there in the energy where you are heading. So from what I can see over here for you Scorpios that there may have been a lot of work that you put in in the past. I see that work being recognized for you. So a lot of you, if you can open your heart to the idea that you want maybe say career success, money success, as well as, um, you know, love success, if you can open your heart to that, then, you know, there might be a wonderful breakthrough that's coming about here for you, which could maybe be like a promotion or a raise or something like that. So it's not really like your hard work has gone in vain either. You know, it didn't really go down the, down the gutters. 
it says, and this is where you're heading, generous, practical, gracious, materialistic, the ability to make anything more beautiful. That is you, Scorpio. A love of family and home, be practical, be practical about how you proceed. A love of art and beauty and a sensible approach. Okay, so very good things that I really see that coming for you. Let's clarify your reading. Um, definitely a burst of magic, most definitely. Let's clarify your reading and see what it is that we have here for you. So we're looking at the two of pentacles there in the recent past, first of all. So you've got the king of swords, the queen of wands, and the two of pentacles. Okay? So I do see that some of you, you kind of pretty much made up your mind that you want to have love. But maybe you just needed some time there, like maybe you said that you wanted it, but maybe you were not 100% ready for it yet. Um, and I see that you have been working really, really hard on your inner self in the process towards, you know, becoming ready. Also, um, in the recent past, we've got this Queen of Wands, and in your current space, you've got the Queen of Wands as well. So whatever you did there in the recent past, it's filtering into your present in a very, very positive sort of way. Okay, so a lot of you needed to do a lot of inner work. It's almost like a lot of you needed to maybe forgive someone for something that they did, a way in which they really um, dishonored you is what I really, really feel. Um, and then that is how some changes started to come about. So even in the workspace, but even in the mind, I feel that um, things have started to get better. You started to get stronger because I feel that for some of you, it's almost like you were very much kaplunk, very much straight against um, you know, almost like straight against the floor, that the things may have been incredibly, incredibly challenging for you. Okay, way too many cards. So let's look at this current space, the Queen of Wands, because the Queen of Wands is a space of um, readiness. When I did the Cancer reading, um, they, they also had Queen of Wands, and that was actually in their space where um, sort of like what's coming towards them. So you may be dealing with a Cancer that, um, or maybe. You, the person that you deal with just has very strong cancer in the chart where you are ready and it's not that they are not ready but maybe they've got some things that they need to take care of um, before they can just you know fully um, open themselves to the connection so let's see what we have seven of swords the wheel of fortune and the hanged man so all hope is most definitely not lost um, that much i can tell you very much from the start basically okay um so there we are, with the Jupiter energy, things turning in a positive direction. You ask to have some faith. So, um, some of you, I feel, Scorpio, you're in that space, especially if you, if you have the specific person that you are dealing with, you're in the space where you feel very ready, almost like, um, you know, almost like, if you almost think like a, like a very medieval sort of thing, getting on your horse, you know, whether you're a man or a woman, doesn't really matter, getting your, on, on your chariot or whatever, and say, I'm going for my love, I'm going for my person, I, I won't be held back. But some of you may be jumping the gun just a little bit, so just be careful of that, um, Scorpio, be careful of jumping the gun. Because I feel that the odds are very much in your favor when it comes to love. It is not so much a yes, no, it's more of a yes, but it's more of a timing sort of thing. So you might deal with someone that is very happy to be with you, that is very open to be with you. You can have that conversation with them if you want to, but it might just be that they've got other things that they currently need to take care of, and that is why, um, you know, them. it's not even like they can't fully give their heart. It's more like they would be like, I'd like to give your heart, I'd like to give you everything, I'd like to maybe, you know, text you all day long and that sort of thing. But I've got some other things that I need to take care of at the moment before I can do that, okay? Um, I wouldn't recommend that you push this person. I wouldn't actually recommend that you push yourself either. Let's look at the space heading for you, heading forward. Um, so we're looking at that Queen of Pentacles, possible unfolding. We've got the Knight of Wands, the Four of Swords, and the High Priestess. So this connection can go either way. It really can go either way. It can be very successful, or it can sort of like poof, go up in smoke. A lot of that is very much determined by whether you are willing to give this a little bit of time or not. And you know, something that I always like to remind people of that if you if your plan is to be with somebody for the rest of your life, then you know, waiting a little bit of time shouldn't really be that big of a thing. But of course, 
you know, the decisions entirely up to you. That's entirely your prerogative. And I'm not going to tell you what you should be doing. Okay? So I'm going to check what it is that the universe has for you, if that resonates with you, if you find it helpful. I'd really appreciate you liking the video, commenting, sharing, and subscribing, hitting that notification bell, um, so you know when your weekly readings are coming out. Let's see what the universe has for you. So you've got the hanged man, and then you've got the son of wands, which is the knight of wands, and again, positive change there, two of pentacles, all right? And didn't I have the hanged man earlier on, or is it just my imagination? Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Yes, we did. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. What am I saying? Am I confused? Could it be? Yeah, there we go. You had the hanged man earlier on. All right. So you are dealing with a situation where um, I'm not saying don't open yourself or nothing like that. All I'm saying is that um, there's a little bit of patience that is required in this connection. Um, it's You might be dealing with someone that they're not necessarily involved with someone else, but maybe there's still that last bit of a cut that they need to cut or something they need to finalize with another person. All right. So I would say, if, if, I, if I may, I would say, Scorpio, communicate your feelings honestly and clearly, but try not to have a very yes or no sort of mindset because you might be dealing with someone again their mindset is yes but they might need a little bit of time okay and um you know i hope that it helps that's what i got for you obviously if you want to have a little bit more of a personal look into your own personal energy then you might want to consider booking a personal reading with me i also do regression hypnosis everything is down below in the description and i also just want to end off by saying thank you so very much for to all of you that are making beautiful donations to my channel. Um, there are some really incredible changes that are coming, beautiful changes that are coming. And all of those changes are really funded by the donations that you are making. So I'm very grateful for that. I'll see you next time. Bye.